Hi everyone, welcome to North and South Homestead. I'm Kim and I'm a filthy mess. We're working on these potatoes today. I'm gonna get them planted. These are red Pontiacs. So let's do it. Okay, some of these holes, I've had to move the hay and compost around in it to get it down into the sides where I want it. So, so I don't have all of them done. That's why I grabbed some hay from over there is to help fill them gaps in. I'll have my hole here and I'm just moving everything down to the dirt. I am not cutting the potatoes. I am just putting them in whole like this. Um, they may grow better in your area or in your dirt if you cut them. We have found at our place, they grow better if you don't. And they're kind of small potatoes anyway, so it's all good. Do what works for your area. So this one needed a little extra. And so I'm just, Dumping some old hay on down in there. Now the wind will blow all of this mess up here off um, in just a day or two. And it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so no big deal. I'm going to save myself some work and let nature do it for me. Alright, let's move on get these potatoes planted. Dug out all the little holes all the way down in this first row here. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill them with potatoes and cover them up. And then I'll be done with that row. Woohoo!
down at the barn getting it nailed. And so then I can get it finished. But that one side is planted. In case you haven't done this method before, you just loosely put the hay on. You don't uh, pack it tight around it. The plant needs room to pop up out of the hay. Okay, the holes are in the second row, ready to have potatoes put in and covered up. Let's get this job done because supper is ready and I am hungry. <laughs> finished. What's in the middle will be flowers all down the middle row. This is our front yard and we would like to have some pretty in it so um, we will be planting flowers later on in it. If you see this mess here, if you watched the video yesterday you know that we didn't quite make this walkway wide enough to get the mower in here, the rider mower, that has the wagon on it. So eventually these beds here will not have to have hay and stuff like that put in them every year. But right now, because everything underneath this is pretty much just rock with a little clay over the top of it, you cannot grow anything there. So we're going to be a few more years of having to do it this way. So, we have decided, or I have decided, I should say, that I'm going to move this roll, which hasn't had compost put in it yet this year, so that will make it easier. I'm going to move it over this way. I'm going to extend the walkway so that the riding mower and wagon can come right through so that as this builds up, it's not tearing up the sides of it with the mower catching. So I have it unstapled down this side. I'm going to move this one and move the stuff underneath it on over some and put more walkway there. That, of course, is for another day. I hope you had a good time watching me work my butt off <laughs> and getting filthy dirty. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Smash that like button for us for YouTube algorithm. And please ring the bell. If you're already subscribed, please re-ring the bell because our videos have not been getting out there on notifications. Thank you very much. Have a great day and God bless.